cultivation of rubby medicinal plants. Farmers toil hard to grow traditional crops. Here, investment is high. Returns are uncertain and are mostly dependent on fluctuating monsoon. On the other hand, cultivation of medicinal plants require lesser inputs and give better harvest even from small land. Moreover, farmers can easily save the produce in well-established markets and he also gets handsome price. We will discuss the cultivation practices of three important Rabi medicinal plants Ashwagandha, Isipgol and Opium Poppy. Ashwagandha is grown as late Kharif crop. When you do not have any irrigation to offer, grow Ashwagandha. The arid, marginal, sub-marginal lands where you cannot grow other crops profitably can be chosen for Ashwagandha. When most of the monsoon is over, that is around August, treat your seeds with Phytolan, Blytox or Blue Copper. Add about 3 gram for 1 kilogram seed and then start broadcasting. 10 to 12 kilograms of seeds will have to be used per hectare. It is grown with rainwater only. Ensure that no water should be allowed to stagnate. Wait for 150 to 170 days, then harvest. You will see the leaves turning yellowish and the berries half ripened. Remember, you should not delay harvesting till the berries are fully dried. Uproot the whole plant. For you, the root is the only portion to be used for medicinal purpose. Cut the extra foliage leaving 5 cm above the root and transport to drying yard. Do the trimming and after that dry the roots under the sun. Grading of roots is strictly done on the basis of thickness, brittleness and the color. Price varies from one grade to another. Grade A Root should be in thickness range of 1 to 1.5 cm and the length should be 7 cm. The root should look solid, brittle and white in color. This is the best in quality. Grade B Thickness is 1 cm. Length is 5 cm. The roots are brittle, solid and white. This is good quality. Grade C This comprises of mixed sized roots. These are having quality which is above average. Grade D The thinnest roots are grouped here. These are of average quality. The thick fibrous roots are usually rejected while finest roots of uniform length and thickness are selected for export. The dried roots are sold at agricultural mandis of Manasa, Neemaj etc. in Madhya Pradesh. Since generations we are growing ashwagandha, it can be grown even in less available water. Cost of cultivation is 800 to 1000 for an acre. It yields about 3 quintal dry root from 1 acre. Current market price is about 3000 to 4000 rupees per quintal. Isip coal is another rubby crop requiring very less irrigation. Areas having late winter rain during March end should not be chosen for this crop. Rajasthan, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh produce it in bulk. The crop requires irrigation half of what a wheat crop would require. It can even be grown with only two to three irrigations. Soil should be light. Plow the land and harrow it properly to make it free of clumps. Apply 
55 kg DAP and 7.5 kg urea per hectare before sowing. You don't need to use fertilizers if pulses have been grown on this land earlier. Sow it between the third week of November and first week of December. Seeds should be pulled and free of diseases. They should be treated with apron or Prilaxil at the rate of 3 gram per kilogram seed before sowing. 3 to 4 kilogram seeds required for 1 hectare sowing. It should be done by broadcasting. Use a tree twig having rich foliage to give the crop a light sweeping. Ensure that the seeds do not get deep into the soil. Give a light irrigation. Water flow should be slow. All weeds should be removed and the crops should be thinned between 20 to 25 days after sowing. 30 to 35 kilograms of urea should be used to top dress the crop and irrigation is given. The crop should be last irrigated when maximum number of spikes have attained dove stage. The crop matures between 110 to 120 days during March to April. At this stage, the leaves become yellowish and spikes are brownish color. The mature seeds turn pinkish while immature one remain reddish. Start harvesting after 9 to 10 a.m. in the bright sun. For seed separation, you can use a tractor or bullock or simply beat it. Seeds are collected and cleaned. Farmers sell the seed at various mandis of North Gujarat and West Madhya Pradesh. Straw is used as fodder. We grow Aesop gold because it requires less water and less investment. It needs three irrigations. We get about five quintals yield from one acre. Cultivation expense comes to about rupees 3,000. The gross income comes about rupees 10,000 at selling price of rupees 2,000 per quintal. Opium poppy demands higher investments compared to the previous two crops. The cultivation is controlled by the Central Narcotics Bureau of the Government of India. Strict licensing rules are followed. And it is confined to the districts of Faizabad, Parabanki, Bareilly, Shah Jahanpur in Uttar Pradesh, Neemaj and Ratlam in Madhya Pradesh, and Kota, Chittorgarh and Jalbar in Rajasthan. Apply 15 tons of farmyard manure for a hectare of land. Mix it well with the soil by plowing. Once the fine tilth is achieved, land preparation is over. After plowing broadcast 130 kg urea, 250 kg superphosphate, and 65 kg MOP per hectare just before sowing. Sowing should be completed by first week of November. One hectare of land will require 6 to 7 kilograms of seeds. Before sowing, treat the seed using 3 gram apron or Crelaxil for 1 kilogram seed. Sowing is ideally be done by broadcasting. A number of high yielding variety of seeds are available for which the farmers may contact Director, National Research Center for Medicinal and Aromatic Plants. Remove weeds and unwanted seedlings within 20 to 25 days. Then irrigate the crop. After 35 to 40 days of sowing, once more weeding and thinning are done. Once this is completed, don't forget to apply 65 kg per hectare urea and irrigate the crop.
Hereafter, crop requires frequent irrigations at an interval of 10 to 15 days up to harvesting. Sometimes irrigation is also given to save the crop from frost injury. Once the flowering starts, one more dose of 65 kg urea per hectare is applied. Downy mildew is the major disease of this crop. The leaves become black and start withering. The fruits also turn blackish. Spray 20 grams of Ridomil MZ by mixing in 10 liters of water. Spraying should be done at 35, 55 and 75 days after sowing to check the disease. Fruit capsule are the main part of opium extraction. The capsule are ready for latex extraction within 115 to 120 days after sowing. The process is known as lancing. For convenience, divide the field into 3 to 4 parts for lancing and do it every 3rd to 4th day in each part. The special knife used is called Nashtar. Longitudinal incision on matured capsule is made. Each capsule is lanced 3 to 4 times or more during the season. Ensure that lancing should be done only after midday. Collect the latex early in the morning. Use a blunt edged iron scoop to collect the coagulated latex. Seeds are also used for cooking purposes and adds to income. Dried opium is then sold to the district opium officials as per government norms. Opium poppy is main crop of the farmers at Mansour. Opium gives more profit than other important crops like wheat, garlic, etc. This is a about 25 acre land. In this land, we get about 2 quintals poppy seeds. We get good profit even at minimum government price of Rs. 1100 for 1 kilogram of opium. No other crop can compete with opium poppy. Choose from these three options. Go for Ashwagandha, Isabgol, when resources are limited or cultivate opium poppy when all inputs are available and if you fall in opium growing region this will not only uplift your economic status but will also help to grow cash crop year after year